<clears throat> it is an important mechanism for it automizes and disindividualizes power. Power has its principle not so much in a person as in a certain concerted distribution of bodies, surfaces, lights, gazes, and in arrangements whose internal mechanisms produce the relation in which individuals are caught up. The ceremonies, the rituals, the marks by which the sovereign's surplus power are ma was manifested are useless. There is a machinery that assures dissymmetry. <clears throat> there is a machinery that assures dissymmetry disequilibrium, difference. Consequently, it does not matter who exercises power. Any individual taken almost at random can operate the machine. In the absence of the director, his family, his friends, his visitors, even his servants. Similarly, it does not matter what motivates, what motive animates him. The curiosity of the indiscreet, the malice of a child, the thirst for knowledge Mission. of a philosopher who wishes to visit Mission. this museum of human nature, or the perversity of those who take Mission. pleasure in spying and punishing. <clears throat> the more numerous those anonymous and temporary observers are, the greater the risk for the inmate of being surprised and the greater his anxious awareness of being observed. The panopticon is a marvelous machine, which, whatever use one may wish to put it to, produces homogeneous effects of power. A real subjection is born mechanically from a fictitious relation. So it is not necessary to use force to constrain the convict to good behavior, the madman to calm, the worker to work, the schoolboy to application, the patient to, the patient to the observation of the regulations. Bentham was surprised that panoptic institutions could be so light. There were no bars, no more chains, no more heavy locks. All that was needed was that the separation should be clear and the openings well arranged. The heaviness of the old houses of security with their fortress-like architecture could be replaced by the simple economic geometry of a house of certainty. The efficiency of power, its constraining force have, in a sense, passed over to the other side, <clears throat> to the side of its surface of application. He who is subjected to a field of visibility and who knows it assumes responsibility for the constraints of power. He makes them play spontaneously upon himself. He inscribes in himself the power relation in which he simultaneously plays both roles. He becomes the principle of his own subjection. By this very fact, the external power may throw off its physical weight. It tends to, it tends to the non-corporal, and the more it approaches this limit, the more constant, profound, and permanent are its effects. It is a perpetual victory that avoids any physical confrontation and which is always decided in advance. Bentham does not say whether he was inspired for this project by Laveau's menagerie. 